for the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121, and today we are covering electron configuration. 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 They have a configuration? Yes, it's kind of like a roadmap of sorts. Ah, okay. I'm Joey Smoking. And we're covering electron configuration with you today. <laughs> <laughs> abstract unit to represent things in chemistry. And when you have reactions such as this, this is making ammonia, you know, um... <laughs> that was a nice touch. Okay, so that's the ideal gas law. Okay. Okay, but if you think about it, Kevin, within this, if we were to take out a couple of the variables, we also notice that there's a relationship between these variables to kind of make like subcategory equations sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. That's a very interesting point there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and erase all this stuff and we can extrapolate what those other equations are. Okay. I like that word extrapolate. It is a very fancy word. It's a very fancy word. Okay, so Kevin, let's say that we're interested in just pressure and volume. Okay. Okay. What do you think would be an equation that we could extrapolate from the ideal gas law? Well... <laughs> yeah, give some context. P1, P1. Yes, I know the equation. P2, P2. I need some context to explain it. Because, you know, ex de de I, am I looking for a relationship between pressure and volume? You didn't say that. Extrapolate the equation, which is relationship. The equation, that's a very vague term. That's an equation. Yeah, it's an equation, but I could also make this. PV equals duck. Or P <laughs> equals V over cat. Or V equals P to, to the root of there. Context, man. Context. Okay, the next time when we get to this episode again, I will ask you... Relationship. An equation describing the relationship between pressure and volume. Okay, that's what you want me to say. Yes. The relation... The... What? Relationship between pressure and volume. I don't want to say that, though. What do you want to say? What I said before. If we well, the equate... Like I said, the equation is too vague a term. It doesn't explain what kind of equation you're looking for. I'm looking for the duck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whenever I bring it up, when I say anything relating about those two, get to that. And when I say I want to relate those two, make that. But when I relate these three, make that. Okay, that's better. Okay. That's better. Context. Yes. Duck. One goes up, the other goes down. Duck. Two plus two equals fish. The very large values of and, two. And we totally didn't stop this. Percentage or percent mass by mass. Now that's essentially the percentage of a of a part to mass. <laughs> <laughs> for the supplemental instruction series of videos for Chemistry 121, and I just realized I didn't title this thing, so we should probably do that. Watch the face. Why do we even care about this, you ask? I didn't 
guess that. Thing I love. I didn't. Well, man. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not in it right now. <laughs> but it does remind me I need to write the 21 Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos. I'm Joey Smokey, and Kevin is making a very, very slow walk over here. Instruction series of videos for chemistry 121. <laughs> it's that caffeine, man. I'm telling you. It's going to your brain. <laughs> respect to getting all the three in one video of being at the shoot. What? Wow, alright. I would not say it's bleach if it wasn't bleach. 